<laughs> My name is Lior. Uh, we are here in Matat with Erez Komorowski. Erez is, is one of, of the, the important figures in this movement. He's saying, hey, let's look around us. Let's, let's grow what's inherently local to this region and the regions within Israel. What grows up here is not necessarily the same as near Jerusalem and in the Arava. It's a very different climate. I think uh, the Galilee is the best area, the best terroir in Israel for uh, cooking. Well, we have all those wild herbs and wild leaves that grow under the trees and, and we have all those uh, mushrooms that grow near. Nature completely drives our menu and the climate, you know, the climate. If we have uh, uh, hail in the winter, that it means that we don't have uh, spinach mm -hmm. for three weeks. <laughs> yeah. and so let's go to the garden. Yeah, we're going to cook something, I think. No, first, the time. Cheers. Rule number one. What can we do? Roast them or roast them. in the oven? Let's roast Let's roast let's, let's them. The International Culinary Institute, the ICI, which will be built in Kibbutz Gonen, about 35 minutes from here, with the help, support, and then collaboration of the JNF, the Jewish National Fund, um, will be home for culinary arts, cooking, baking, wine making, cheese making, beer brewing, and even food science and technology. As much as this is an international institute by its name, this is first and foremost in Israel and home for the Israeli the culinary community. Uh, without having Erez and, and many like Erez in Israel uh, showing their love and support for what we're going to do, this is never going to happen. And, and we know and we hope that again people like Erez and his peers and colleagues will spend as much time as they would like or can uh, talking to the next generation of culinarians about the beauty of this profession. Cooking is one aspect of it. It doesn't end just with cooking. There's the science, there's the farming. We will have a farm dedicated to the school where you could major in what I call culinary farming. Not farming for the sake of is it a dollar or 99 cents. It's growing it because it tastes good. It has a meaning, it has a reason and understanding what's happening. I think that farmers and, and cooks should have more of a conversation about the end they result. They should marry each other. If possible. <laughs> <laughs> Ta -da. Wow. wow! I think, I think it's important to, to grow and to help young uh, kids to understand what is real food, to understand, like you said, where food comes from that it comes from uh, the land and mm -hmm. the earth and, the, and, and milk comes from uh, cows and, 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 and <laughs> sheep and not from uh, the refrigerator. Sure. So I, I agree 100% and I, I hope that some of these graduates that will follow the more scientific curriculum and go to work for large-scale manufacturers because it is a fact. Nor you and I can change it, but at least if we can make some commercially produced food a little bit more sustainable and healthy and better. Maybe that's another thing to do and, and also give an opportunity to succeed. I'm sure you have seen a lot of young cooks who have big dreams and realize that it's very hard and there are no shortcuts and they abandon at some point. Because it is a hard, it's a beautiful profession, but it's challenging. So uh, I think it's important to expose them to that, but all of that in, in the best possible way through food. Was that good?